Hey everyone, welcome back to Mac React. Today we're gonna to be watching some more Vox Machina. Now I'm sure you guys remember last episode, we watched Whitestone get attacked by all of the hatchling dragons and the group seemed to think that it was Raishan who did it, but it seems that Ripley was actually the one who kind of orchestrated the attack because she knew where Whitestone was being hidden. And now it seems that Percy is back on his vengeance path against Ripley. So as cool as I think she is, I think she's a really cool villain for the show. I also think she's gotta go because Percy's never gonna be able to be free with Vexalia until he gets over this issue with Ripley. So we're really excited to see where the second half of the season goes. We appreciate you guys for joining us today. Let's do it. Let's do it. Not sure what you hope to accomplish, Anna. <laughs> I've tried. Oh, speak of the devil. What would our family do without your mind? Your gifts will change the world, Anna. But it's up to you to decide how to use them. She uses them for bad. <laughs> they're, they're not really gonna. The mines, they're seizing them. Go, quickly. So she saw her village attacked and they had no way to defend themselves. Mm. Makes a lot more sense now. Yep. Wow, annihilated. Oh Dude. my God. They don't even have weapons. I'm not sure guns would have done much. So that's her villain origin story. Damn, I think that would turn anybody into a villain. Whoa. That's crazy. She's doing it. How many souls? Over 500 dead. God. Whoa. Gilmore, how soon can you cast that cloaking spell? There's nothing left to cloak. Would it even matter? The dragons know we're here. Exactly. The residuum. Whitestone's entire supply. Stolen. She used the attack to cover while she raided our reserves. I may have a theory. Maybe it's what's going to power her plant? That or she's making a Death Star? <laughs> Oof. This can only be found in one place. The Isle of Glintshaw. She didn't just leave this behind. It was intentional. An invitation. She left a breadcrumb. Mm -hmm. Where is Scanlan? Hopefully having better luck than we are. Oh, okay. I was wondering if we were ever going to cut back to Scanlan. Too late. They were already gone? I guess so. Well, it's been nice having something that's just ours. There comes a time when you realize what's important to you. You want to tell them? Telling them will change things. And we need them focused on the task at hand. I'm sure you're right. So maybe after the mission? <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> I heard them on the billiard table, just like... Pounded we get it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't want to hear it. Drink it. I'm leaving you to watch over Cassandra and Whitestone. What? We need you. No. We wanted more trinket screen time. Boat then? No. We fly. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Love it. A whole day with no ale. I'm starving. I'm sure there's a tavern just around the next ancient ruined bend. <laughs> well, ancient ruin your bend. <laughs> Scanlan will mock me relentlessly. Keyleth will call me a hypocrite. My brother. Oh, I can't even imagine what he'd do to you. They know already, though. Yeah. What is that? Let's go tell the others. But if anyone's out there, we can't see them. If anyone's out there, they can't see us. He's just eating random things. <laughs> Let me borrow that a tick. Oh, that was kind of loud. I'm worried they would hear that. Right? 
The Tirolo Crest. <sighs> Something's not right. That was easy. Almost. Almost too easy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pike. There's a reason I've been pressing you about this. I'm in love with you. Oh. She didn't say shit. What? Not even like a let's talk about this later. It's quiet. Almost, Almost too. Almost too quiet. Yes, there you go, Pike. <laughs> I mean, yes. Yes, there were some gods. Oh, oh no. my god. No. <sighs> she was the one that wasn't thinking. What's happening? <laughs> oh, they put a gas mask on him? Max. So they're all gonna see their own shit. Oh no. You did, Exalia. Your love. It kills. No. Oh no. Yeah, Ripley planned all this. A production line powered by a magnificent battery that combines the arcanum of Cabal's ruin, steam locomotion, and white stone residuum. Mmm. Yeah. So yeah, like a big battery. And once my delirium gas tears through the minds of your friends, you'll be free of all obligation. A clean slate for our partnership. So it's gonna erase their minds? I had to improvise when I realized the plate was a fake. Mm. The only issue is this power surge. Once an hour, like clockwork. Now Orphax will receive the souls of those slain by your weapons. And in return, everyone will have power of their own. Whoa. That thirst for payback. It's not why Orthax was drawn to us. It's why we were drawn to Orthax. Maybe it's time I accept that some scars don't heal. Uh, is he gonna shock her? I'm surprised she's trusting him again, because he could just turn this thing into a bomb again. Mm -hmm. But my imperfections don't make me weaker. They make me who I am. Yes. Yes. Yes, you were right. Hell yeah, destroy it all on your way out, boy. Oh no. Is there an antidote for this? As I warned, she will not be there. <gasps> oh great. No, Pike. Let go of me. Let go. You just trip in. Oh god. Oh. The truth is in your blood. The blood thing again. Yeah, right? Did she just wake herself up? Her eyes look normal. I think so. Oh! <laughs> God, his ass. Fax oh, makes that look so easy. <laughs> oh. Dang, with the injured arm? Bro. I mean, he is the master. Our weapons are ready to ship. I'm simply finishing what you couldn't. Oh. Whoa! What? I will not be complicit. Oh! She can shoot too? <laughs> She's like Venom now? Yeah. What? It didn't work. Whoa, what? Whoa. She tried to use the Everlight and it didn't work? It didn't work, but her blood worked. I may need some help with the big guy. <laughs> That's his nightmare. <laughs> oh. 
Whoa! Dude. That animation! Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, she looks so cool. She's taking over more and more. Mm-hmm. Black powder. Not a good spot to run. <laughs> oh, no. He could blow it all up. Oh, he threw oh. the powder. Oh, but what about him? Nice. Oh, oh no. he got hit though. Oh, damn. Got her good. Nice. <laughs> he is so smart. I'm done with vengeance, Anna. Your transgressions have ruined many lives beyond mine. What we deserve is justice. Death would be mercy. But I can help rid you of Orthax. After time and penance, you can find a better way. Wow. So he really is changed. She won't do it. That's what her dad said to her, though. I still don't trust her. <sighs> I knew it! Damn it! I knew it! Oh. <gasps> no! And she got away. He should have. Oh, he should have killed her. <laughs> no, for real? Please don't leave me. She didn't say she loved him. Oh my God, I'm so heartbroken. I'm like speechless right now. I, I thought they were right behind him. Like they were gonna show up like right when he was yeah, on the brink. I thought he would still be like- Hanging on. Mm -hmm, they would just heal him or something. How but the Everlight did... thing is still not even working for Pike. So how could she heal at all? Yeah, true. And she said there was nothing to heal. He was already gone. Oh, well, I know when Vex died, luckily we had the matron to pull out of our ass yeah. and save her with, but I don't see a way out of this one. But I also don't feel like Percy's story is done. So yeah, this... what the hell? This just seems like a crazy way to end his story. But I like we know that this is based off of their real D and D campaign. So and if something happened and you had like a really really bad role and you died, I mean, there's no going back from that in the game. I just really hope that's not the way Percy goes out. Yeah, especially for him to like really commit to who he wanted to be. Maybe Pike's blood can do something. That's what I was just thinking. I was like, what about her blood? Because we just learned it did whatever it did in this episode. The fact that this happened to Percy at like the midpoint of the season makes me feel like we might be without him for a little while and then we'll figure out a way to bring him back. Yeah. In time for the finale. I hope so. That's my hope right now because... I just can't accept the fact that Percy is gone that quickly. Yeah, he definitely is one of my favorite characters. And, and like that, to have that conversation with Vex. Yeah. Confess his love and then her not even say anything back. Because she's like processing it or whatever. And then the worst possible thing happens after that. Like, dude, she's breaking then, my heart. And then she's kind of the one that caused it. That's crazy that they kind of caused each other's death. Yeah. Him not looking for traps and yep. when they were going for the vestige killed Vex 
And now her being flustered from their conversation, not paying attention, she stepped on the smoke, the trigger or whatever, and it ended up getting him killed. Love is distracting, I guess, just in any way, shape or form. But I think had they just been open and honest about it, it would have been much easier. And had this conversation before we even left, we you wouldn't know? even be thinking about this. And like, the, the group already even knew, too. Yeah, They're so all it's worried so, about nothing. So it's so stupid that this even happened, honestly. They should have just been open, honest about it, because they are like a mini family. So they do need to be open and honest, which also brings me back to Scanlan, because, you know, they could have planned for Scanlan to go see his daughter or something like that. But now him not being there has kind of jeopardize the group as well too because they can't find Ripley. Yeah, they did need Scanlan weirdly enough these last two episodes. I mm -hmm. don't really blame Scanlan No, though. no, no, I don't blame Scanlan but I just think a little bit of honesty between the group would be good from mm -hmm. Percy and Vex and from Scanlan. I just, I think we need it. I know for Scanlan specifically he left because the place Kaylee was was actually close to where they were. Yeah, to where they were. So he was like, well, I might as well just go since it's nearby mm -hmm. but the only the only little snippet of him we got in this episode was him going to the tavern she was at and she was gone yeah and she was already gone. and then we never cut back to scanlan so i guess now he'll come back to the group or is he going to continue to look for kaylee that's what i don't know and that kind of like miscommunication could be dire to the group. They need cell phones. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, Scanlan. He's he's already got the hotel chateau or whatever. Yeah. Like, make some cell phones, right? Or walkie-talkies. <laughs> All right, guys, this was definitely a heartbreaking episode. Um, we have no idea where it's going from here, but we can't wait to get into the next episode. So if you want to catch that with us, make sure you like this video and subscribe because it definitely helps out the channel. And make sure you follow our Instagram for some extra content from us. But as always, you guys are the greatest, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Bye.